Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros, and I'm here to bring you another build guide. In this video, we're going to be showcasing a $480 PC build featuring the Pentium G4560 and an RX 470. This PC will max out titles at 1080p and also deliver a very balanced price to performance ratio, so without further ado, let's just get into the parts list. First up, the CPU. I went with an Intel Pentium G4560, a KB Lake dual core with hyper threading for 75 bucks. The CPU is a great value for the price, giving you access to the Intel platform with an upgrade path and also having enough horsepower to game right now. With KB Lake's fast single threaded performance, you'll be able to max out most titles that you can throw at it without having the GPU be held back to a significant margin, making it a solid choice for the build. Now onto the motherboard. I went with the Asus H110M-E-M.2 Micro ATX LGA1151 motherboard, coming in at a price tag of $46. Jeez, that was a mouthful to get out. But this board will support our Pentium chip and anything on the Intel platform up and up. However, it does not have overclocking support. That is one downside with this board. As far as price performance goes, getting this board for about 46 bucks does go a long way with putting more money into the more essential parts of the build, like the graphics card and CPU, and coming from a brand like Asus, you will know you'll have a solid product. Now onto RAM, where we went with two 4GB sticks of Kingston HyperX Fury Black DDR4 RAM for $67. Yes, RAM prices are still the Achilles heel in budget builds, being that it is much more of a hit on our budget than they used to be. Nonetheless, this is solid RAM clocked at 2133MHz and will do just fine. 8GB is still plenty for modern titles and if you wish, you can always spend a little bit more money and get more RAM as you wish. Now onto storage, where I went with one single 1TB one WD Blue hard drive. I would have liked to go for an SSD for the boot drive, like always in all my build guides, regardless of budget range, but in this certain case, you know, I kind of caved in and budget wise, it wouldn't have been logical. But if you can find a deal on a 120GB or 240GB SSD, I would highly recommend you throw it into this build, but regardless, this drive will do fine for Windows and games. For the GPU, I went with the RX 470 from MSI, the Armor Overclocked Edition. This card is at $173, a great price to performance card, and at 1080p, you'll be maxing out a ton of the FPS shooter titles and more low-end titles like CSGO, Overwatch, League of Legends, Rocket League, and you can probably stretch in and do really well performance-wise with Battlefield 1 and other titles at slightly lower or high settings. The RX 470 is really my go-to card for sub $500 PC builds and pretty much will fit perfectly in this build with its 4GB of VRAM and the ability to play most titles at 1080p. For the case, I went with the Fractal Design Core 2300, a basic no thrills case that will house all your parts easily. At $40 you really can't go wrong with this case, but you can always offer something cheaper or more expensive if you wish to save money or splurge a little bit, vice versa. Cases are preference and as long as they fit your hardware and are about an ATX size case, you should be perfectly fine. Lastly, the power of the whole system, I went with the legendary, uh, well, quote unquote legendary, EVGA 430 watt 80 plus certified power supply. This is another of my go-to budget options because it's such a solid unit at only 31 bucks and it has enough juice to power our system, which our system really doesn't sip any power anyways, so 430 watts should do just fine. So overall, for 480 bucks, you get a very solid build with a couple bucks here and there if you wish to go up to $500 and possibly throw in an SSD if you choose. And if this video reaches 400 likes, we will buy up all these parts and actually build this machine ourselves and test it. So if you're interested in seeing that, be sure to hit that like button if you want to check it out. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and comment what you think. And all the parts will be located in the description down below in a PC Part Picker link where you can shop and enjoy as you please. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace out, guys.